Styles, and you're watching Bretto Live. What is going on, guys? Bretto Live back with another video, and I'm so happy to be filming this video because we have the entire set of WWE Elite Legends Series 14. We got Edge, we got the Edge Chase, we got Road Dog, Jesse James, we got China, as well as Mean Mark Callis. Undertaker, Mark Calloway. We're going to be reviewing and unboxing every single one of these figures in this video, taking a closer look, in-depth look at the packaging, in-depth look at the figures, the accessories, everything about them. Picked them up from Target very recently. Walked right in there. Nothing on the shelves. Walked to the back. Found all of them. Check out the video. It's going to be on the channel. But yes, guys, without further ado, we're going to jump into the review. Starting off with the first video, we're going to take a closer look at Edge. Of course, the packaging is the same for both. The only thing that is different is the pants are different on the chase. We're getting red pants instead of white pants, which I'm super excited about. We're going to take a look at one of the packages, obviously, like I said, because they're both the same. Here's a look at the Legends Elite packaging. And I honestly wish they'd change the package design. We've had the same package design for a while now. I think it's time for a little change. On the front, you can see a picture of the Brood Edge right there. WWE Legends Edge. Edge. There's a look at him on the side looking absolutely awesome. And of course, you do have the same photo right there. There's some info on the back if you guys would like to pause the video to read and the other people in the set that you will see reviewed in this video. So without further ado, we are going to get to it, crack both of these out of the packaging and get a closer look. Okay, guys, we got both Edge figures out of the packaging. Both figures, again, no matter what figure you get, it's just the different color of pants that you're going to be getting. But yes, both figures do come with the interchangeable hands, which you do have the regular open hands, which I already have in the figure, and then you also do have the Daniel Bryan grappling hands right there, which is also a solid touch to this figure. Starting off first, we're going to look at the regular version first. Here he is, decked out with all of his accessories. As you can see, he's decked out with the glasses. I'm really into the glasses, by the way. You got the black lenses with the red rims looking really solid. You can take them off, and then there it reveals the edge head scan right there. It looks great. He is looking off to the left a little bit, at least on my figure, but he does have the smile. He looks really cool. He's got the long hair going all the way around to the back. He's also sporting this really nice red trench coat right here. You can see some silver buckles on the front. It's like Mattel's like version of the fake leather, which I think always works. It always looks amazing. And then Getting a closer look at the arms here, he is decked out with the black elbow pads on each arm as well as the white wrist tape. You also do have the tattoo right up here uh, right up here on the left shoulder, which doesn't look too bad. And, dude, moving down to this attire, oh, Mattel, you guys nailed it with this design. Look, you got the cross on the front. You can see all the different, like, feathering designs looking right at that, or all pointing towards the centerpiece, Edge. Gold, black, and white. What a combination of colors on these tights. It looks amazing. And then moving down, it does say it does says it. And then moving down, it does say edge on the kick pads. It looks fantastic. And then of course the one difference is the pants. So here are the tights. Obviously, you can see the red, white, and black combination on the left, and then of which is the chase. And then of course you can see the regular version, the white, gold, and black. And honestly, I prefer the regular version. I like the gold, white, and black. It looks better, but both of them look fantastic. Um, but yeah, it's cool to have both of them. Out of the set here, we're gonna be taking a closer look at it is China and Road Dog. I decided to do these in the same clip, of course, because they are both part of DX. But yeah, guys, China Road Dog, based off of when WWE invaded WCW, uh, WCW when they were in the same town which is such an incredible idea but um yeah road dog china very similar packaging for both of these i love the little spin they got the dx uh like over the logos they got it like over the elite logo on the top true effects head skin technology logo you got the little cutouts of the superstars right there both pictures of the superstars on that side as well as this side part of part of legend series 14 you guys got some info on the back if you guys would like to pause the video to read other people in the set we do have Road Dog, Me, Mark Kellis, Edge, and China. So without further ado, let's get into it. Crack up both of these out of the packaging. Hey guys, we got both figures out of the packaging. We're gonna start off with China. By the way, these look great next to each other. Obviously, both part of DX. I do my other DX figures uh, on standby here. I'm gonna be putting them next to these, seeing how they look all together. We're gonna take a look at China first. Here's a look at the head scan. Obviously, it's China. You can have a stern head scan. She's got the freaking dog collar going on. It reminds me of like some Rhea Ripley crap going on. You can see like there's little silver studs going on which looks pretty decent you also do have the hair which is a brand new hair mold by the way uh brand new head scan brand new hair mold we've never seen this in the big ponytail in the past we've seen the big bun hair from wrestlemania 17 we've seen the uh, two uh two pack with triple h that was a different head scan as well but yeah it's a, definitely a fresh looking figure you got the jacked arms because she's i think she was like the ninth wonder of the world something like that she does come with the interchangeable hands you are getting the open uh black gloved hands as well as the uh fisted black gloved hands she does also have like this black like top going on you could open it Revealing the black top. As far as that goes, though, it's basically all black. 
There's no logos at all on this figure. It's a pretty basic figure. I'm not going to lie. You do have uh, some color there for the silver uh, little rings on the laces. But other than that, it's a pretty basic figure. I'm not going to lie. If you, do, if you did pick up a China in the past, I honestly don't really recommend this one. It's, uh, it's a pretty basic figure. Very, uh, just nothing too special going on. But when it comes to special, we got the road dog Jesse James decked out in the D-Generation X gear. And it looks awesome. Here's a look at the head scan. Looks fantastic. Obviously, you can see the true effects set scan technology. Very stern looking face. Looks awesome. Here's a look at the ears. You can even see the earrings. He's got the helmet going on. Very similar to what came with Triple H. But of course, there is a hole in the top of the helmet. Of course, then you could fit the hair through it. Reminds me of Enzo Amore a little bit. Um, but yeah, you could fit the hair through it. There's a little tattoo on his head as well. I'm not going to take off the helmet now because it looks way too good. He does have like this like ammo freaking pack going along his chest. If you want to take it off, all you got to do is uh, lift up the right arm, slide it up. And then you have this like little ammo cartridge, which I think is a really interesting and cool accessory. You can see like the different cartridges right there. No like buckles at all where it opens up. You just slide it right on the figure, which I think is really nice. He does have the D-Generation X shirt that we've seen before. Looks great. It does match the other um, DX Legends figures that we have gotten in the past, which I, again, I'm going to show. And then he also does have the camo pants going on right there. We're going to take off the clothes right now, see what he's got going on under the clothes on the chest there's nothing going on there but if you look to the arms we do have some tattoo detail going on they got all of his tattoos from back in the day right there looking fantastic and then moving down you got the classic mold for the road dog jesse james figures with like the baggy sweatpant type deal you can see this nice little white pattern going down each side of his pants and then to top it off the bottom he's got the black kick pad and of course we got the triple h and we got the billy gun right next to Jesse James in China, and these look freaking epic. Look at this. They all got the helmets modified to their certain looks. Um, the only thing I'm missing is um, Triple H's little megaphone that he came with, but I, these still look amazing. Uh, next series, we're supposed to be getting X-Pac, and then I wonder if we're going to get a Shawn Michaels. Um, that would be really cool, but I don't think they're going to do it, but you never know. But these look freaking fantastic next to each other. I love it. And last, but certainly not least, we got Mark Calloway, we got The Undertaker, we got Mean Mark Callis, one of Undertaker's first characters in the biz, in the wrestling biz. But yeah, guys, we got Mean Mark Callis right here. This is my first Mean Mark Callis. Uh, there's a look at the packaging. You can see a classic look for The Undertaker right there, looking awesome. There is a look at him on the side. What a unique figure. This is like a one-time thing. I definitely recommend grabbing this because you're not going to be getting too many Undertaker figures that look like this. There's some info on the back if you guys would like to pause the video to read other people in the set. As you can see right there, which you guys already saw reviewed. Let's get to the last figure, Mean Mark Callis. Last but certainly not least, we are taking a look at Mean Mark Callis. Mark Calloway, The Undertaker. Here he is, guys. This thing's sick. Like, if you, like, collect all the Undertaker figures, like, this is definitely a must. Because, like, we're never going to get anything that look like, looks like this ever again with an Undertaker figure. Like, th this is insane. You got a young-looking Taker head right there. You can see the uh, little shadow of the beard going on. He's got a nice-looking hairdo going back, sort of like a mullet design, but not really. Uh, moving down, he's got the cane torso. He's got the Elite 10 and the Elite, um... Well, the Elite 10 Kane torso, but yeah, he's, he's sporting a Kane torso right there. It definitely fits him. Uh, both him and Kane, definitely similar in stature, so that's definitely going to work. He's got one elbow pad going in. You can see the red line above it, which looks pretty cool. He's got the white wrist tape on both uh, uh, wrists, and then on the right hand, he does have a nice-looking glove to beat the crap out of people with. And then moving down, you do have the black tights with the little red line going up above again, which I like that how they uh, continued that trend from the elbow pad to the tights. And then moving down, you also do have the black knee pads which are the extra large ones that some people aren't a fan of. They don't, they don't really bother me. Uh, moving down, you do have the uh, big, um, like the black, the, not the black, the red and the white socks sort of coming out of the boots there. And then the boots are decked out in completely red. You can see the silver studs for the um, the freaking uh, the laces right there. And then, of course, you do have the black soles. Let's put on the entrance gear. Decked out with all of his accessories. He's got the fist sticking up right there, which looks pretty cool. And then, of course, he does have the little entrance jacket right here, which I'm really surprised they didn't do rubber. They did literally cloth for the entire set, which I think is so cool. And they continued with the little cloth jacket here for the taker. You could use this for so many figures, too. This is such a universal accessory. No logos on it or anything specifying that it's for me and Mark Callis. So you could literally use that jacket for literally anybody. And then, of course, you do have, like, these Shawn Michaels-esque, like, entrance pants, which look pretty neat. I like them. 
goes all the way around there, buckles up in the back, no logos on it or anything, but I kind of like it. It's just a unique looking figure. Like, none of my other figures look like this. So, this is just a really unique looking character and figure right here in Mean Mark Callis. But yes, guys, that has been the review and unboxing of all of Legend Series 14. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the set down in the comments down below. It's one of my favorite Legend set. I'm really into the set. The China figure is definitely the, my least favorite of the set. My favorite of the set is definitely the Edge, but I'm really into all the figures. But yeah, guys, really, uh, again, let me know what you guys thought about the set down in the comments below. Smash the like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Brittle Live out.